first, I'm going to be going with this color. This is by Morphe and it's in the color Rosewood and I'm going to be using a fluffy brush to put it all over my crease. Now I am going to go again to my crease with this Revlon Single Eyeshadow in the color Plum. It's this beautiful purple shade. You can use any purples you have. And I'm using a Revlon as well tapered kind of brush. I don't know what it's called, but it's really good. And I'm going to apply it. And for my lid color, I am going to be using this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the color Glistening Garnet. That's the color right there. It's beautiful, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to be using this all over my lid. And I'm going to apply it with my finger. blend Done. and for my lower lash line I'm going to be back to the color Rosewood by Marfi I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Art in Sheets, in Streets, I mean, <laughs> eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using this orangey color right here to blend that color out. Just a little bit, not too much. Grab the excess and just to blend it. like that and now I am going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara and now for my inner part highlight I am going to be using Becca Champagne Pop And for my brow bone, I'm going to be using Elf Baked Blush in Pinktastic. And 
I am going to be finishing it up with a Rimmel lipstick by Kate Moss and this one's in the color 104 it's a beautiful mauve shade like nude shade like this I have just a ton a ton a ton out of it I really really love it look you guys I really really like how it turned out and I hope that you like it so please subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below what is your favorite fall everyday makeup look that you use and yeah see you to the next video bye